Does it have your eyeball? Mm -hmm. All right, are we ready? Does it have your eye yet? Does it have my eye? It has your eye yet. I'm the chosen one. <laughs> crazy brows? Yeah, crazy brows. Hi, I'm Jeff. She's my eyeball now. I am now the chosen one. Dang it. All right. Hello, everyone, and welcome back to Foster the Meeple, a channel all about... Board games. And... Board gamey things. Happy New Year! <laughs> Jeez. Is it New Year? It's 2022, sucker. Oh, yeah. Right. It's 2022, sucker. This is my can year. I, can I be honest? This is my year. Oh my god, this is a board games and brew and we don't have drinks. Yeah, whatever. Of course I can be honest. I still get confused that it's 2022 and not 2021. It's like years are just... What do you mean? It's literally the first day. No, I know, but I keep thinking twenty. it's 2021. I keep thinking that we just got through 2020. Pretty much we did. 2021 was just a continuation of 2020. Yeah, just time right now is weird. The point is, this is supposed to be a board games and brew. We don't have any brew. Jamie has been ill prepared. New year, new me. 2022, ain't got no brew. Just I kidding. would love a hot drink. Well, you know what? After, because I'm not, I'm not taking another break. So I gotta go grocery shopping. I got stuff to do today. First of all, Happy New Year! Say Happy New Year! Happiest of New Years! Happiest of New Years! Hope 2022 brings a new year, new you, in the best possible way. I hope 2022 is better for the world too, overall. <sighs> yeah, me too. You know? Yes, I know. Let's start it off with a banger. Let's we'll start off with a banger. We're doing a haul. So we just wanted to kind of wrap up 2021 in terms of like haul. So we'll start yeah, fresh. Yeah, all the games that we fresh. Got you've seen everything. You've seen everything so at this point. We don't have a ton to share with you. We've already done our packs haul, so you've seen all of that. So this is just games that we've gotten since then. And then our next video is going to be our 2021 year in review board game wrap up. That is going to cover off not only all of the games we played, some fun statistics, because everybody loves stats, am I right? Mm -hmm. It will also bring to you the answers of who won the Jeff versus Jamie you know? challenge. I do not know yet. I almost know, but I don't know How's yet. How's it looking? I haven't calculated it. You just said you almost know. Well, I'm almost, oh, you mean I'm as in done. Oh, yeah, yeah. I'm okay, almost done doing the stats. Yeah. So that will be our next video. So stay tuned for that. And we will have some information about who won, who lost, and what they need to do, what Jeff needs to do. Mm -hmm. Okay, so we are going to go through our games that we have gotten. Jeffrey. Me first? Sure. Am I pulling from my side? Yes. First up, and this was a Christmas gift. Yeah. From my buddy Kyle, who mm -hmm. you will see soon. So thank you, Kyle, again. Thanks, Kyle. And that is Call to Adventure Stormlight Archive from Brotherwise Games. Mm -hmm. I love Call to Adventure. I've played the original Call to Adventure. Yep. We have the name of the Wind expansion sure to do. the original Call to Adventure. Mm -hmm. I have backed Call to Adventure Epic Origins. Yep. Mm -hmm. And and the Minis expansion. And what do you mean? Isn't there, wasn't No, they haven't, they're coming out this year. Mm -hmm. They're doing miniatures for Stormlight Archive. Stormlight Archive. For Stormlight Archive. And I'm super excited. I also, on my pledge, got the fancy boxes. Oh, that's for, what it was. For Stormlight Archive. Why can't I say that? Stormlight Archive, Stormlight Archive. and the original. Ooh, Anywho, fancy boxes. Love Call to Adventure. I love Stormlight Archive. It's one of my favorite book series Seriousness. of all time. <laughs> Words are hard. It is one of my favorite book series. It's like 2020 is not starting off so great. Of all time. And I'm really excited to play this. And I'm really excited that we have all of them now. Everything. Everything. Thank you again, Kyle. Very kind. Now, uh, to keep on the train and the trend of gifts from Kyle, he's my friend too, and he also got me a present because he's my friend and we're, we're best friends. Left the price tag that on the dummy. Kyle got me the Scarlet Witch expansion for Marvel Champions. Marvel Champions is a game that I enjoy to play on my own because Jeff doesn't like it so much. It's not that I don't like it. It's not love. He just doesn't really love Marvel. But I love it and I do play it solo and Scarlet Witch is obviously one of my favorite Marvel characters. So he got me the Scarlet Witch hero pack and I'm very, very excited to play it. I knew you were getting that. You did? Mm -hmm. I knew you were getting that. Kyle's not good at keeping Well secrets. done, Kyle. All right. Next. All right, cool. Next up. All right, cool. I just had to make fun of you. Why? You'd be like, all right, cool. Yee, yee. Next up, I bought a secondhand copy of this game. It's the original version of this game, not the what? new one. But that is, oh my God, Summoner Wars Alliances Blocking Master Set. My good light. And Summoner Wars Master Set. So this is the OG 
from Plaid Hat Games. The Og. I've never played this game. I've always wanted to play this game, and I spent $20 on this. On both? Yes. Not each. No. Neat. Total. I am really excited. I love it. You know, we love Plaid Hat Games. We sure And do. we love card games, and this is yeah. one that I'm super pumped to get into. I don't know anything about it. I don't really know much about it either. We chatted with Rodney about this and he he likes it a lot and I'm pretty excited to get into it. I don't know if this is just going to open up a bit of a rabbit hole for me. Things usually do rope it up. Rope it up. <laughs> Even we did need coffee. 2022, not starting <laughs> off well. Will rope me into getting the new stuff? Probably, yeah. I'm sure it will. It was a sick deal and I couldn't pass it up. Yeah, it was a sick deal, bro. Let's... Oh, and it's, I think, signed. It is? I think so. By who? Who signed it? The, Imagine it was just uh, like Col the old owner. <laughs> Colby. Col it's a game by Colby, da Colby Douch. I think he signed it. Neat. Next up, we have one that we bought before we went to PAX, and that was Arboretum, which apparently is a very mean card game that everybody has recommended to us because, as you know, we love mean games. We have not played it yet. The box is empty. We took it to PAX with us, and we, we did didn't play it. play it. Classic. But this is a game about trees, and you know how trees can be mean, so. Mean trees. Trees. Me and trees. All right. Last. Last? Yeah, last. Why? Because it's the coolest one we got. I'm going to do these ones together. Okay. Is that cool? Yeah, whatever. Next up, we have the Transformers deck building game. More than meets the eye. And we also have the G.I. Joe deck building game. What's the G.I. Joe tagline? I don't know. <laughs> Interestingly enough with these ones, I originally bought G.I. Joe. And then I discovered that Transformers was a thing, and I was like, Transformers was like my childhood. G.I. Joe as well, but Transformers much more so. So I'd already bought this, and I was like, well, I can't not get Transformers, so then I got Transformers. You might be asking, like, well, you don't like Marvel Champions. That's because he doesn't like Marvel. The theme's better for me. So I'm actually really excited to get into these. I'm not entirely sure how each one play. Is co -op and I, one yeah, is I think not. I could be wrong on this, so if I am, you know, ignore me. I'm pretty sure this one is more cooperative than this one is, but I could be wrong. Yeah, this one can be played competitively or cooperative. Yeah, I think this one is solely cooperative. Look, it's off. Oh, there's a pink one. Neat. And these are from Renegade Games, I should Yeah. Who is the pink one? Pink one? Yeah. I'm not entirely sure. She's here too. I'd be her. Next up, we have from the Op Games is Kingdom Hearts Perilous Pursuit. You didn't even show it. Kingdom Heart Perilous Pursuit, a cooperative chase to defeat the Heartless. So this was sent to us from the Op Games for review. Obviously, it's got Disney in it. So mm -hmm. you could be Mickey Mouse or no, you could be Donald or Goofy or one of the other Kingdom Heart characters. I've never played Kingdom Hearts. I played a bit of the video game. Yeah. So this is... But I mean, look at the uh, characters. Yeah, I know. I want to be Donald. Hard. Donald. Goofy. Yeah, but if you've played Kingdom Hearts, it is, you know, a direct port there. I don't know anything about it, but we are excited to play it. Trying to collect all those Disney games, as you all know. Next up was another gift from our friend Max over at Table Knots, mm -hmm. and that is Lord of the Rings, The Confrontation. Confrontation. Max bought this for me and gave it to me while at PAX. I don't know why I put it down. Now what are we gonna do? We got nothing to show. This is a bit of a, I wouldn't say a grail game, but I was really looking for a copy of this because it is out of print mm -hmm. and you can no longer buy it. This is one of my favorite games. What? Ever? Yeah, oh, 100%. Wowie. If you've played Stratego, a lot of people compare it to Stratego with a Lord of the Rings theme. We played this at the Boardroom Game Cafe and I immediately fell in love. I mm -hmm. think you did as oh, well. I love this game. And yeah. we really wanted a copy and Max found one and bought it for us. And I think he bought himself a copy yeah. as well. So it's a head to head yeah. battler. One person plays the light side. Yeah. The other person plays the dark side. Those are the exact terms they use in the game. Yeah. The fellowship is trying to get Frodo to light Mount side. Doom and Sauron and his minions are trying to get to the Shire or to destroy Frodo. It's really, really great. Another one from the Op Games, and that is Cuphead Fast Rolling Dice Game, which is based off of a video game as well. It is, yeah. Oh, that's two based off video games. This is a real-time dice rolling game where boss battler. Mm -hmm. And let bit me just tell you. Bit of a campaign element. Yeah, bit of a campaign element. There's like eight different boss levels Boxes and bosses and that you have yep. to fight. And there's an app that goes with it that like is a timer. It's and so good. We've played it and we love it. It's so good. It is so fun. And it's it is so fun. very stressful and essentially you get like either 20, 15, or 10 seconds to roll your dice to get certain combos to beat the boss. Mm -hmm. And it is just like oh, you might stressful. you might be asking, like, why would you ever do 10 over 20? There's a scoring element to this. So when you defeat a boss or a level, 
you'll be given a grade. And if you use the 20 second option, it inherently pulls your grade down. So yeah. it's just increasing the challenge. We got C minus. And so, so, so fun. It is a ton the of art, fun. The art is amazing. The app's great. You've probably heard that it is very difficult and it is. It is. We did play with the 20 second variant, so it wasn't as and difficult it was as still it could difficult. be. But it, yes. And I will mention uh, quickly because a lot of, I think a lot of time when you mentioned like app games, people kind of hesitate. It's this one is just basically a timer. There's With music. Yeah. It's just because each round you're rolling dice as quickly as you can to try and get certain results. And it's just counting down the timer, giving you a little bit of a themed timer. Love that game. Next up, we have from Dakota Ridge Games, Cruise of Eridanus. So this was sent to us from Dakota Ridge. This is a prototype. We will be doing content around this game coming up in January. Mm -hmm. In Cruise of Eridanus, you are basically in a solar system fighting against a evil, aggressive AI. And your objective Classic. is to defeat the AI to uh, save the solar system. Is it co-op? I believe it is. Semi-co-op, I believe. Um, let me check. I'm gonna tighten you with that box lid. I didn't have to ask that question. This is a semi-cooperative game. So you're collectively trying to defeat the AI, but the one who is more efficient with victory points and that sort of thing at the end of the game Me. wins. And it's really cool. There's like space pirates and like it it looks amazing. We're really excited to show it to you. Let's do the last one that we got from the op. And that is ooh, Quest of Your role-playing game, role-playing adventure also game. Looks sweet. So I actually talked about this as being one of my most anticipated games of 2021 in like one of our first videos. Mm -hmm. This is a role-playing game based off of the Disney movie Onward. Yep which I love. And it's like a self-contained role-playing adventure. Yeah. Like everything you need is kind of in the box. Yeah, I'm very, very excited. So we have not learned how to play this yet, but I think we're gonna try and play it with Billy and Michelle from Second Star to the Left, because yeah. they have their own copy. There are very cute miniatures that you're probably going to paint. Depends on when we wanna play it. I got a backlog of paint going <gasps> on. Just got a backlog, he's just so busy with painting. I'm very, very excited to play this. We have recently gotten into role-playing games such as D&D. &D. Yep. So I feel like this will be a great one for us to try out. And yeah. Jeff still has to watch Onward. I will not allow him to play this game until he has watched the movie. If you are concerned about that, as you should be, just know it is under control. That is fair. She has stated that to me numerous times. It's a great movie. You're going to love it. Next up, sent to us from Awaken Realms, we have The Great Wall. The Great Wall. This is the Meeple version of The Great Wall. Meeple. And I know people are starting to get their copies of this now. And I'm very, very, very excited to play this. You guys know I do Awaken Realm spotlights on their games. This is the next one in that series. So it will be coming up in the next couple of months. I'm not sure exactly when it is in the schedule, but it will be coming up. And I'm super, super, super excited to play it. You guys know I love Awaken Realms. This box is insanely heavy. And it's, it's I think hefty. the game itself is heavy. So got to learn it. Got to play it. Got to film it. And just when he looked at me, he said, got to learn it. Yeah. I got to learn it. Very excited. Next up is another one that we got before we left for PAX, and that is Super Skill Pinball Ramp It Up. Rip it up or ramp it up? Ramp it up. Just rip it up. Ramp it up. Don't rip and, it up. And uh, there's nothing but excitement with this. Like, think of the name. Super Skill Pinball Ramp It Up. This is a roll and write. Yeah, th but this was a direct product of, again, watching Watch It Played. Play this, and it looked amazing. We're definitely interested in roll and writes. It's one of our favorite things. And this is basically playing pinball. Mm -hmm. The next one that we can't remember whether or not we talked about it already is Jamesha. So if we did, we Sorry. <laughs> We got this before we left for packs as well and Jamaica is a racing game that we have played and we do love. This is the one that comes with the ghost ship because this is the reprint of Jamaica from Space Cowboys. Yeehaw! We love Jamaica. It's a pirate themed racing game. You're going around like this Rondel. Rondel yep. and you can like there's some take that elements. You can kind of screw people yeah, over. Yeah you can attack dirt. people. You can move them. Mm -hmm. yep. Maybe we'll have a racing game day soon because yeah. I love racing games. Yeah that one's unique because you can like you can move backwards and forward. Like, it's really cool how mm -hmm. they did that game. You can, like, go in a different direction. Go to, like, Do up all the board. Things. There's seagulls on yeah. the cards. It's amazing. Last up, Big Boy. Big Boy. From Thunderworks Games. I don't even know if this video will show how large this box is, but that is Role Player Adventures. Show it from the side. 
Damn, boy. It bet. is massive. I've already dipped into this a bit. We haven't learned how to play it or played it, but I opened it. I can't describe to you how amazing this, I think this is going to be. Yeah. This game, when I opened it, so it has a bunch of storybooks. A bunch. A bunch of storybooks. And I was no, like, but like, it has a bunch. I'm just going to show you. I want to show Are you. Are they spoilers? I don't think so. I won't show you the the titles of the books, just in case. I don't think they're spoilers, but I really want to show you this. Sorry. I'm to get the lid off. Jeez Louise. There is so much in this box. We love Role Player. And this is like a campaign this version. This is campaign version of Role Player. This is most of the weight of the box. These are maps and storybooks. These are all the books. Like these are massive maps that fold out, but each one of these is an adventure. I'm going on an adventure! I can't with this game. I'm so excited. I'm so happy that we were able to get a copy. Very exciting very, stuff here, people. Very excited, but it is a beast. Yeah, very excited. We will not be able to probably play that one until we get a table. It'll be a little while, but we are very excited to play it. And those are all of the games. That's it. That's all, that's it. That's all that's it that we got at the end of 2021. Now let's see what we buy in 2022. The world is our oyster. There, we do have games coming, but they won't yep. be here until 2022. So. It's 2022 right now. That's what I mean. Yeah, they won't be here until now. Yeah. Yeah. Those are all of the games that we have to show you guys today. Like we mentioned, our year wrap up is coming in the next video. So stay tuned for that. We hope you have an amazing New Year's Day. We hope you had fun and New Year's Eve, but not too much fun. You can be hungover and watch us. That's fun too. Anyways, that is all we have for you guys today. If you're interested in buying games like any of the ones we just showed you, you should first start by checking your friendly local gaming store. And for us here in Halifax, that is... The Boardroom Game Cafe. Uh, yeah. And that's is. where we got a bunch of these games. That's where we got Role Player Adventure. Yeah. It's true. Is that where we got this? Yes. And Jamaica. And Jamaica. And Arboretum. And Arboretum. And Super Pinballs Roundup. Yeah. Most Anyways, of these games most came of these from games. Games. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching. If you like what you see. Please subscribe. We hope to see you again soon. And now we say goodbye. Goodbye. Later it is. Alert. Crisis alert. Crisis alert. Because I'm the same height. Look, if you, if you, if you sit up. Can we, are we going to be able to hear the TV? I don't know. Ugh, heavens to Betsy. Hello everyone and welcome back to Foster the Meat. I don't like that this is a new habit that you've developed again. A new old habit. Well, you gotta do that, Jamie. Jeff, I don't want to. Uh, we didn't. Okay, Jeffrey. Jamaica? What? Yeah. Are you sure? Yep. Okay. We just got this. Okay. I believe you. Mm, I don't know. Actually. I don't know either. If it's not, whatever. But for today, we are doing a haul video. Are you sure we did do Lord of the Rings in the Pax Hall? I just... I trust you. You saw me do it. I thought maybe you didn't do the Pax Hall. You maybe did the I Hall didn't. of Boiling or something. Uh, okay. <laughs> Anywho. Flap. Flap. Focus on my eyes, please. Focusing on our eyes. Now where is it? Down here. Get me? You got me. I don't know why that's relevant. It's not, for sure. Cut her out. Will do. Mm -hmm.